This is where I need the Jeopardy theme song playing. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Um, remember, in the G major scale, this is an F sharp. So we did lower it. We lowered it by having just an F natural here, right? So this is an F sharp in a major scale. So it is lowered by a half step because it is now an F natural. So while it doesn't look like it's lowered just by the accidentals, that look can be deceiving. Sometimes you have to actually count out the half steps to really see if it's lowered or not. One last time, our pattern to just pick any note. So let's say you pick a C sharp and you want to build a minor scale on C sharp. All you have to do is count intervals going whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, and you've just built yourself a minor scale. Cool. Let's do one more. And this one uh, is going to kind of be my segue to the next section. Let's do an A minor scale. Okay. Okay. So here's an A. So let's find ourselves an A right here. So whole step gets us to B. Half step gets us to C. Whole step gets us to D. Another whole step gets us to E. Another half or a half step gets us to F. Whole step gets us to G. And then a whole step gets us back to A. No accidentals here. Weird, right? Well, remember what the key is for A major. It's that. That's the key for A major, right? Because G sharp is our last sharp. If we go up a half step, that's A. So that's the key for A major. And it has an F sharp, a C sharp, and a G sharp in it, which happens to be our third, our sixth, and our seventh. So an A minor scale is all white notes. There's no key signature in the key of A minor. Now, hold the phone a little bit here because we know that all white notes is C major. How can all the white notes, in other words, no key signature, be both C major and A minor? Aha, the answer to that will be revealed in the next video because that is what a relative key means. So let's go check that out.